adoration. Welcome to Children's Adoration, everybody. I know we're not in the Adoration Chapel today, but Jesus is all around us. Here's a beautiful picture of Jesus. He's in our hearts, he's in our minds, and he's in our souls. So let's take a moment to give ourselves a big squeeze and say, hello, Jesus. You can shout, hello, Jesus, or you can whisper, hello, Jesus, whatever you want. Let's sing a song about God to get us started today. That was a great song. I think a lot of us know that one already. God does have the whole world in his hands. He's so big, so powerful. He's amazing. So today, we're going to talk about forgiveness. So Jesus was so forgiving. He forgave all sorts of sins. Do you guys know what forgiveness is? when somebody does something you don't like very much, like maybe your brother and sister did something that might hurt your feelings and it feels all icky inside of you, well, forgiving them is filling yourself up with the Holy Spirit and letting Jesus have that. So Jesus says, friend Peter, we're gonna do a little bit of math here today. Jesus says, friend Peter went up to Jesus and said, okay, Jesus, should I forgive someone seven times? How many fingers is seven? Can you guys show me? <gasps> seven times, that's right. And so he said, should we forgive him seven times? And Jesus said, no, not seven times. He said seven times, 70 times. Oh my goodness, do you know how much that is? Is that more fingers than you have? It is, it is 400 and 90 times. And do you think we should actually forgive someone 490 times or all the times? That's right, all the times. Because it's more important to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus instead of counting the number of times we've forgiven someone. So Jesus gave really good advice to his friend Peter, didn't he? Yeah, have you ever gotten good advice? Yeah, me too. So when we don't forgive someone, let's talk about what that looks like. So today I have an experiment for you guys. I love experiments. Jesus created the whole world with God. And so that's always interesting to see how experiments work in our world. So today we have a big cup of gross mean things someone might say to us. That's no good. And then we have our little person. I don't know if you can see his little sad face. And we're gonna see what happens when he gets filled up with mean things inside of him. And then we have the cross. This represents Jesus. Represents means we're gonna pretend this is Jesus. And Jesus can take away our sins. Let's see how that works, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take all those mean, not nice things that might be icky inside of our bodies. Ugh. Oh, look at those gross things. Oh my goodness. Look at our little person. He's so sad. He's all filled up with the icky words and horrible things. So, should he put a cap on it and hold it inside and feel all icky and gross in his tummy? Or should he go ahead and use that Holy Spirit that can come down and fill us up with God's love. We're gonna grab a Holy Spirit over here. This balloon's going to be our Holy Spirit, okay? So instead of having sin and icky words that we keep in our body, we're going to go ahead and put some Holy Spirit in us instead. Just a minute as we get our Holy Spirit ready. 
Okay, now watch what happens when you fill yourself up with the Holy Spirit and where the icky stuff goes, how we forgive people with that. Just a moment. Oh, do you guys see what is happening? Where is all of that icky stuff going? Is it staying inside of you? Oh no, it's being pushed out by the Holy Spirit. Look at that. He is so much happier now. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. And who took all the icky, horrible things out? That's right. Jesus died on the cross so that he could go ahead and take away all the icky sins and horribleness in our body and make sure that we're clean and full of the Holy Spirit so we can give our whole lives to God. That's really beautiful. Okay, now I want to see, because I know you guys are really active, strong kids. Can you show me the biggest stretch, just like the balloon did, filled with the Holy Spirit? Up on your tiptoes, up on your tiptoes. Huge Holy Spirit. Yes, that was amazing. Great job, you guys. Well, I wanted to explain to you something that's happening in the month of September. So in September... We like to, that's kind of when like the leaves start turning and turns a little bit fall. But we like to remember the Holy Cross. It's called the exaltation of the Holy Cross. But sometimes we just call, call it Holy Cross Day, just for short. And so on Holy Cross Day, we remember the cross that Jesus died on so he could take away our sins and he could help us forgive people. So with your mommy, daddy, or another grown-up's help, we can go ahead and make this beautiful craft. You put some tape here and it can decorate your house. And you color all around it. I know a lot of you already did this when you painted some windows around Easter time. <gasps> and you take off the tape and it's a beautiful surprise cross. There we go. Look at that. And you can decorate it however you want. You can hang it in your window, you can put it on your door, you could go ahead and mail it to your grandma, she would love that. And you can decorate it any way you want. My kids were very creative with their crosses and they made their crosses like this with some stickers. Everyone is different and that is great. So, before we get going, we're going to go ahead and say a decade of the rosary. You can grab your rosary, whichever one you have, big or little, colorful or not. We're going to say, remember how it goes? One Our Father, ten Hail Marys, all the fingers, and one Glory Be. Okay, ready? So first we'll grab this, we'll make the sign of the cross. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm going to do this one this time. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be our name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Okay, I'm going to put my rosary down so I can count. Let's do our Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Okay, you guys, thank you for spending this time with me today. I can't wait to see you next time. Give yourselves a big hug, a big squeeze, and I'll see you later. Go love like Jesus. God bless.